and phase just killed this box and installers are celebrating because this one change is about to cut installation time in half, clean up your garage wall, and give you a 15-year warranty instead of 10. All right, welcome back, guys. We've completed Gen 4 training and bench testing, and our first homeowner installs are scheduled. So today I'm going to walk you through what actually changed, what it means for your home, and whether you should wait for 4th Gen or grab a deal on 3rd Gen while you still can. Let's go. All right, so Enphase launched their 4th generation system, and they're calling it Streamlined. But what does that actually mean? Here's what a third gen and phase install looks like on your wall. You've got the IQ system controller, that big box in the middle, the IQ combiner, the IQ batteries, usually two to four of them, the IQ gateway, lots of boxes, lots of wiring between them. And honestly, it works great. We've installed a ton of these, but installers have been asking in phase for years. Can we simplify this? Well, they listened. The system controller is gone. And here's what you're left with. IQ battery 10C, bigger, cleaner. IQ combiner 6C, does way more now. IQ meter collar, new component. That's it, way less real estate on your wall. But here's the thing, they didn't just remove the system controller for aesthetics. That box did three critical things. It was the hub, everything connected through it. It had the neutral forming transformer. It was the disconnect from the utility. So where'd those functions go? That's the clever part. You know, starting with the IQ meter collars, this is brand new for fourth gen. It goes on your meter, either on a meter main combo, a standalone meter box, or a standalone meter socket. It's basically the MID, the means of disconnecting from the utility. So when the grid goes down, this thing isolates your home and lets the end phase system form a microgrid. Your house keeps running on battery power. Quick side note, if you're in California, this is gonna be super easy because meter main combos are everywhere. If you've got a standalone meter with a separate service panel, no problem, it works there too. We'll talk about install complexity in a second. Okay, so the neutral forming transformer that used to be in the system controller, that moved into the battery itself. The 10C has neutral forming microinverters built in, so you don't need a separate box to do that job anymore. It's all integrated. Plus, and this is huge, the 10C is 10 kilowatt hours instead of five. But here's the cool part. It's made of two 5 kilowatt hour subunits that only weigh 126 pounds each. So two people can easily lift it without special equipment. You can mount it on the wall, put it on a pedestal on the floor, or if you're tight on depth, you can install the two subunits side by side or stacked. Super flexible. Now moving on to the IQ Combiner 6C. This is where it gets interesting. The Combiner 6C really lives up to its name now. CTS current transformers are now built into the combiner box. It's got a dedicated load control relay so you can shed non-critical loads during backup. Dual band cellular card connects to either AT and T or T-Mobile, whichever has the strongest signal. And there's a dedicated breaker spot for an EV charger. That last one's a big deal. If you want to add an Enphase IQ EV charger, you don't have to fight for space in your main service panel. It goes right in the combiner 6C. Everything's in one box. So we've covered what changed, but let's talk about the two questions we're getting from every single person who calls us. Question one, should I wait for fourth gen? Okay, so fourth gen is available now. We can order it, we can install it, but here's the thing. Third gen is still available too, and there might be deals. Enphase hasn't officially discontinued third gen. Some distributors might be clearing out inventory. So if you're price sensitive and you don't care about having the absolute latest tech, Third gen might save you money, but if you're building new or doing a major remodel, I'd probably wait for fourth gen. Here's why. Cleaner install, fewer boxes on your brand new wall, 15 year warranty versus 10 year on most third generation components, twice the capacity per battery, 10 kilowatt hours versus five kilowatt hours. Future proof, this is the platform and phase is gonna support for the next decade. If you're retrofitting an existing system and third gen is significantly cheaper, that's a tougher call. We'd need to run the numbers for your specific situation. Question two, can I upgrade my third gen system? All right, so you already have third gen end phase. You've got the system controller, the combiner, a couple IQ 5P batteries. Can you add a fourth gen battery to that? Short answer, we don't think so, at least not easily. Here's why, the fourth generation system doesn't use the system controller. 
The neutral forming function moved into the 10C battery. The MID function moved to the meter collar. These are fundamentally different architectures. Now, Enphase hasn't released official guidance on mixing generations yet. We're waiting on that. But based on how the systems are designed, it looks like 3rd gen and 4th gen are separate ecosystems. So if you want to expand your 3rd gen system, you'd probably add more 5P batteries. If you want to switch to 4th gen, you'd be looking at a full replacement. All right, now let's talk about what it actually means when we show up to install this thing. Enphase is saying install time is cut, probably more than half. And look, we haven't done our first 4th gen install yet, but based on the design, I believe it. Here's why. Fewer boxes equals fewer connections. With 3rd gen, we're running conduit between the system controller, the combiner, the gateway, the batteries. There's a lot of point-to-point -point connections. Every connection is time. Every connection is a potential failure point. Fourth gen, way simpler. The meter collar talks to the combiner. The combiner talks to the batteries. Done. Fewer connections means faster install, cleaner look, and honestly, fewer service calls down the road. The load control relay. This is another installer win. Say you want your battery to power your whole house during an outage, but you don't care if the pool pump runs or the EV charges. You want to shed those loads to make your battery last longer. In third gen, you'd need external relays or a separate load center. Fourth gen, built into the combiner 6C. You just wire your non-critical loads to the dedicated circuit and the system handles it automatically. Okay, quick thing, if you're watching this and thinking, I want end phase, but I don't know if I should wait for fourth gen or buy third gen now, that's literally the question we're getting every day. We do free site assessments. We'll look at your electrical panel, your solar setup, your usage, and tell you which generation makes sense for your timeline and budget. Links in the description. Now here's something I didn't cover today, and this is going to be its own video. How does this fourth gen end phase stack up against Tesla Powerwall 3? Franklin WH or the new EcoFlow systems. Because the Powerwall 3 is cheaper per kilowatt hour, but Enphase is modular. Franklin has that massive surge capacity. EcoFlow is, well, that's complicated. So if you want us to break down the battery landscape, like which brand actually makes sense for different homes, drop a comment. That'll be the next one. Look, we've installed both Enphase and other brands. Enphase's big advantage has always been modularity and reliability. You can start with one battery and add more later. The microinverter ecosystem is rock solid, and their app is genuinely good. You can actually understand what your system is doing. Fourth gen keeps all of that and just makes it cleaner and faster to install. Is there a catch? Honestly, not really. The only downside is it's new, so if there are any early bugs, we'll find them. But Enphase has a good track record of ironing things out fast. So here's what I'd recommend. If you're thinking about Enphase, third gen or fourth gen, just reach out to us. We'll do a free site assessment. Links in the description. We're into Great Sun. We're certified for Enphase, Tesla, Franklin, all the major brands. No sales pitch. We just tell you what makes sense for your house. All right, that's it. If this was helpful, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one.